Hey, Kingdom Builders, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time joining me here today at Kingdom Wealth Ministries, a special welcome to you. You all, I recently rolled out the prophetic number series that I'm doing, and I started with the number 11. So if you missed that, go ahead and check my channel so that you can see what I said and what the Lord was speaking to you through the prophetic number 11. Go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell if you want to hear what the Lord is saying through these various different numbers. I'll be speaking on the number 22 today, 33 tomorrow, then 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, and so on and so forth. 10, 10, 8, 18, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have so many revelations from the Lord that I'm going to be rolling out so you don't want to miss it hit that notification bell. So I'm going to jump right into this, you all. On Sunday, September 19th, 2021 at 9.34 a.m., that is when the Lord revealed all of these prophetic meanings to me through these numbers that you've been seeing. It was almost a year to the day. But why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because the Lord finally released me to share it because it is a divine season. This is the appointed time for these things to start. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for these things to start coming to pass in your life. That is why you just found me. That is why I just got on YouTube less than two months ago or maybe two months to today. That is why. It's because this is a divine season and an appointed time. You are not here by chance, coincidence, nor accident. The Lord himself sent you here because you have to get these messages. You have to get these prophetic words in order to birth the things that he is causing you to birth in this season. Amen. Amen. If you believe that this is the appointed time, write in the comments, this is the appointed time. I know it's the appointed time. If you can feel it in your spirit, write it in the comments. Okay. So this is what the Lord revealed to me specifically about the number 22. He revealed that this number represents success, divine success, in, in, in all your ways, in all your ways, in every area of your life. Success is your portion. Success is your portion. The Lord spoke to me and told me that in this season, everything that was held up will be released unto you. That includes lawsuits. That includes settlements. That includes prodigal children who went wayward. The Lord is saying they're coming back in the name of Jesus. That includes traumatic or abusive divorces that are being held up. The Lord said he is releasing you, releasing you from bad marriages, from bad relationships. The Lord is saying that you will win in this season. This is the appointed time. Yes, it was being held back for a season. Some of you may have been waiting for a long, long time. You may have started seeing these numbers 10 years ago, but the Lord is saying now is the appointed time where he is going to release everything that has been held up in your life. What else is the Lord releasing? What else is the Lord releasing? He said settlements are about to be paid. Uh, he's releasing real estate, real estate. Deals are about to be closed. Business deals are about to be closed. So you all, you, I'm going to get down to the bottom of what you need to do to make sure that you are in alignment with this word and that it comes to pass. So you want to stay to the end of the video so that you do not miss your blessing. So what else is the Lord saying? He said that whatever you're believing for, whatever you're believing for, it's bigger than that. Whatever you are expecting, know that we serve a huge God, a big God. He's saying that my children have been thinking too small and I am wanting to do great things, big things in your life. And to be honest with you, family, that's why you came to this channel because the Lord doesn't send me to people who have small destinies. I'm just being honest and transparent with you. The Lord sends me to people who have great destinies. So expand your vision, expand your mindset for what the Lord will do. The Lord told me this this morning. So those are things that um, the Lord has previously spoken to me. But just this morning, the Lord had given me prophetic words to tell you all. So let's start with what I heard the Lord say first and foremost. I heard him say, 
Do not doubt. Do not fear. The Lord said it's party time, a cause for celebration. And, and, and as I was in my prayer closet this morning, I sensed that some of you will not be celebrating Christmas in your old house. You will be in a new place and you will have a seasonal party, a Christmas party in your new house. If you receive it, type I receive it in the comments. Whoever I'm interested, whose word is that? Because I felt that very strong. Whose word is that? Let me know. So I heard the Lord say, it's party time, a cause for celebration. I am your God in whom you trust, says the Lord. Keep the faith. I am working it out for you. The Lord says he is working it out for you. Glory to God that he is working things out behind the scenes in the name of Jesus. And then I heard the Lord say, oh, death, where is your sting? Death cannot hold my people down. I have risen and so will they. Glory, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I, I want to let you know too, while I was in my prayer closet this morning and I heard that word, when I heard the Lord say that he has risen, Jesus Christ, mm, we just love you. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you that you conquered the grave in Jesus name. When I heard him say that he has risen and you will too, we will too. I felt a wind come over me and out of my mouth. It came over me and out of my mouth. It was so powerful. It was so powerful. And I believe I felt that in my prayer closet this morning because I believe that wind is going to reach you in the name of Jesus. I believe that wind is going to reach you and I can even feel it so strongly in my body right now. If you receive it, type I receive in the comments in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, mm, this is good. Praise the Lord. I heard the Lord say, bought at a price, bought at a price. And he started revealing to me that whenever we buy something at a, at a price, because there's difference between something we get for free and something we buy at a price. So whenever we buy something at a price, we expect that thing to be successful. We expect that thing to work for us. We expect to be able to depend on that thing and to work in its longevity. We don't want broken things. We don't buy crap. We buy good stuff, good stock, good stock, good stock. Bought at a price, the Lord is saying. So you are guaranteed success because he bought you. He bought you so that you can be successful. He didn't just redeem you. He didn't just give you salvation and save you just so that you can be here doing a normal, uh, um, a regular nine to five and not accomplish great things for the Lord. God is saying, I bought you at a price. So you are supposed to be successful. Go to work for me, build my kingdom and bring the kingdom great success, declares the Lord in the name of Jesus. Um, I said, while I was in prayer, I started getting the sense that there are a lot of people who will receive this word with gladness. But then when you click off the video, you won't do anything with it because you have failed so many times that you've been disappointed You've been discouraged. You tried business before. You tried to go back to school before. You tried to invest before. You tried all these many things before. And depression has overtaken you. And the enemy has come in and tried to convince you that it's a wrap for you. That it's over for you. Well, the devil is a liar. The Lord is saying he is making you successful in all your ways. So whatever you put down, pick it up again. It was a gift from the Lord, but the enemy tricked you into quitting. He tricked you into stopping. I decree and declare that you will not stop again. I decree and declare that you will finish the race in the name of Jesus, that everything the Lord has for you, that you will take a hold of it and you will run, that you will run with it in the name of Jesus, that this is your season. This is your season and you will not quit. You will not doubt. You will go forth and prosper as the Lord commands you to do in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Depression must break up off of you. Depression can no longer have its grip on you because the Lord is going to make you successful and that depression has to go. Now that God is in the picture, now that he has stepped in and taken over, now that he has given you this word, everything that was holding you back must go because the Lord declares that it is time for your success. That is why you're seeing the number 22, 222. 222, two, two, all these twos. That is why you're seeing them in Jesus' name. 
The Lord says, though it tarry, wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. He's working behind the scenes. Don't worry. Don't worry. But before you get to the promise and these things coming to pass, let me know what the Lord, let me tell you what the Lord's word says in order to make these things happen in your life. Let's go to Joshua 1 8, which says, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. See, sisters and brothers, we have requirements. The Lord requires us to do things to bring certain things to pass. You can't just sleep in your bed and on your couch all day and expect for the Lord to make you successful. You have to mix faith and works together because you know what? Faith without works is dead. Please, somebody, all I need is one person to type in the, the comments. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. The Lord is saying there are requirements of you that you have to do in order to bring these blessings of success to pass. Proverbs 3, 6 says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And the, in the living Bible, it's paraphrase. It says, in everything you do, put God first, put God first. And he will direct you and crown your efforts with what? With success. He will crown your efforts with success. Glory to God. Put your crown on in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 16, 3 says, commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will be, you will succeed. Your plans will succeed. Psalms 24 says, may he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Matthew 21, 22 says, if you believe you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Matthew 21, 22. Remember that. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 9. Catch this. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give to you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. Come on, somebody that's called to the nations. The Lord will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. Never forget this. And the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks, your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in, blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. God, you all, this is success in all your ways. This is what the Lord is saying. Success in all your ways if you follow his commands and be obedient. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. How many of you, like myself, want all my enemies to flee in seven directions? Yep, seven direction. Mark, you can flee. Sarah, you can flee. Lele, you can flee. I'm making up names, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> they will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord, your God, will bless you in the land he is giving you. How many people are believing the Lord for land? The Lord says, if you follow his commands, if you obey him, he will bless you in the land you've been given. So you can get the land, but will you be blessed? If you're doing it with God, you'll get the land and the blessings. You'll get all the blessings on that land. Hallelujah. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on earth. If only you keep the commands of the Lord, your God, and walk in obedience to him. That means you need to put away all your sin. Anything that's holding you back, sisters and brothers, fornication, adultery, watching pornography, smoking, drugging, um, lasciviousness, any sin that's in your life, seek the Lord and ask that number one, he forgives you. Repent of those sins because you don't want anything holding you back. I spoke about in one of the other videos how sin is the number one thing keeping people poor. You have no idea how much sin blocks blessings. So don't get into sin. And if you are in sin, repent Turn away, turn away from those sins so the Lord can bless you and you can hold the promises of the Lord. Notice what the Lord said is required. Number one, meditate, meditate on his word. 
Two, acknowledge God in all your ways. So that word in the Hebrew, that word acknowledge is yada in Hebrew, and it means to get to know him. So get to know God in all your ways. Get to know him in all your ways. Get to know him in all your ways. For example, you might be on the job and you you might need to go into prayer asking God, who are you in this? Who are you in relation to me where I am right now? Father God, reveal yourself to me. I want to know who you are concerning wealth. I want to know who you are concerning healing. I want to know who you are concerning patience and faith and waiting and parenting. Get to know God. Get to know God in all his ways. And then commit to the Lord whatever you do. And that Hebrew, that word is galah, which means to roll away roll away. So God is saying, whatever you're doing, whatever you're pursuing, roll it away, roll it off of you and onto him, roll it off of you and onto him. So for example, my YouTube channel, I roll it off of me. I roll it off of me. God, this is your altar. This is the thing that you have called, called me to do. So God, I give it to you. What do you want to do today? What do you want me to say today? Roll everything away that you're doing onto the Lord. And then believe that you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. And then obey. Finally, obey, 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 obey the Lord. Just as I was speaking about obedience a couple of minutes ago. And here's the last thing, which is, so important, you all. And I talked about in the number 11 video how you have to mix the promise of God with prayer. So every time you see this number, 22, 222, 22222, any number of twos, um, you want to pray to the Lord for what he's revealing to you. God, I know and I believe, I believe that you want me to be successful. Every time you see that number, thank you, Lord, for success. God, how do you want me to be successful? Show me the way to success. Pray everything concerning success. Multiple, multiple prayers, various prayers every time you see that. And this is going to help you be in alignment. So it's not about the number. It's, there's no power in the number. There's a power in the message the Lord is sending you and the promise he is sending you and the prayer that holds it all together in Jesus name. So you want to pray, 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 because as we pray, we begin to walk according to what the Lord has for us. Walk, walk, walk according to prayer in the name of Jesus. And speaking of prayer, let us pray right now, sisters and brothers, because I feel such a strong urge in the spirit. Oh, it's such an urgency that you have to get this and you have to know the Lord wants you to be successful in every area of your life. That is true prosperity, success in every area of your life. And I just want to pray right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the brother or sister watching. Oh God, I thank you, O oh Lord, that you have success, divine success for them in all the areas of their lives. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will clear their path, clear the path to success in the name of Jesus. Shine a light, Father God, on their path so that they can see that this is the way, walk into it, and that path will lead them into all the success that you have for them, oh God. If it is that you desire them to wait for a breakthrough, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will so undergird them with patience, a divine patience to wait for the breakthrough, to wait for the settlement, to wait for the closing of the deal. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, that you would give them a rest and a peace as they are waiting for your promises to come to pass. I pray, oh Lord, for a divine breakthrough that whatever was, oh, thank you, Jesus, glory to God, whatever was holding them back, whatever was keeping them stuck, I pray in the name of Jesus for a divine breakthrough that they will see that wall in the spirit and that they will break through it powerfully like the women of God and the men of God that you have called them to be. I pray, oh Lord, that you will so commission legions of angels on their behalf to break through the walls, to tear down walls, to set the captives free. If there be any mindset that they have, oh Lord, that is keeping them in bondage, I pray, oh Lord, that you will set them free from that mindset. I rebuke the spirit of depression. I bind the spirit of depression. I bind the spirit
spirit of frustration. I bind the spirit that causes them to quit, to give up, to doubt, to fall back. I decree and declare that now is the time for your servant to rise. Now is the time for your servant to rise. And we give you glory because when you take us to the mountaintop, we are faithful, oh Lord, to shout the name of Jesus. So right now in the spirit, I shout Jesus on behalf of them. I shout Jesus on the mountaintop for them. And as I see myself on the mountaintop right now, I trust, oh God, that you are calling them up there with me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that we are all united at the mountaintop, that indeed we rule and reign. Indeed, we have dominion in this earth in the name of Jesus, as you have called us to do. Then indeed, we multiply and subdue the earth. Father God, there is none great like you. There is none great like you. And because we are your children, we claim that greatness and we run with that greatness and we are successful in all our ways. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Ooh, I hear a prophetic word for somebody right now. And the Lord is saying, now is the time. The Lord is saying it's go time. And I don't know who this is for, but God is saying it is go time. He has given you all you need. The blessing came and you're sitting on it. The Lord said, it's go time. It is go time. Do what he told you to do so that you can have great success in Jesus name. If that's your word, please let me know in the comments. You all, I thank you for sticking with me to the end. I know it's kind of hard to maybe for some people to sit through a 20, 21, 22 minute video. The videos that I have coming out, you all, they're going to be pretty lengthy because I want to give you everything the Lord gave me. So when you come to the channel, just expect to just <laughs> sit with it for a while, sit with it, bring your journal, bring your pen, your notepad so that you can catch everything, write the scriptures down, write some things that come up in your spirit as I'm speaking, as I'm praying, because you all, we have to manifest these things in the earth for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God. If you're interested in seeing what I'm like behind the scenes, I have a family, I have all these things that I do, you can go to my Instagram and follow me at Kwan Lene Green. I will put that information in the description box. And you can also send me a cash app if you feel, feel led to sow a seed. Thank you for everyone who has sown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you for that. You are sowing on good ground. This is good ground, you guys. And I'm not saying that uh, just because it's me or because I'm puffed up, <laughs> there is no leaven in me. I've been fasting for three days for this word in the name of Jesus. You are sowing on good ground. So if you feel led, only if you feel led, sow a seed by using my cash app, Kwanlene Green, and I'll put that in the description box as well. You all, we have been called in this season to build up the kingdom of God. And now is the time to begin doing it, to get all the resources, to get all the knowledge, the wisdom, the revelation of what it's going to take to build God's kingdom. And I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus that if you are here today joining me on this YouTube channel, that you will commit with me to building the kingdom of God together. I love you, family. Until we see each other next time, go forth and prosper. Goodbye.